Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. In this video, I want to show you a really cool set of technologies to make really good gifts for you to share and make art with it. You're going to use two machine learning models to make this, one for putting the style into the image that we want, and another to make this 3D cool effect. Don't worry if you don't know how to code, since we are not going to need it. In the future, I'm going to make a video explaining more in depth each of these models, so if you are interested in that, subscribe. For now, let's just use this technology. All right, feel free to see how to make the cool style effect into any image. You're going to use Google Collab to run this program. So what you're going to need is an image that you want to style and a style for that image. So to explain a little bit how this works, the model takes the features of the source image and then the features of the style image, and then tries to combine the style of the style image into the source while maintaining the features of the source so we don't lose the meaning of that image. Now to get a really good result, we have to know how the neural network was trained. So the neural network was trained on a dataset called ImageNet that has a bunch of images. But here the important fact is that it was trained to classify images based on a label. So I've seen that if your image has one of those labels, meaning the image has for example a dog and there is a dog in the labels list, the network will render a really good mix of the style and content. I'm gonna leave the link to the labels in the description so you can find images of those in Unsplash for example and get awesome results. To better clarify this, the content image needs to, be, to, needs to be one of those labels. The style image can be whatever style you want. I'm also gonna leave an Unsplash gallery so you have some cool style and reference to find more. I recommend that the style have very prominent colors and textures so the style looks very cool, but you can use whatever you want. All right, so let's do an overview of how to use the TensorFlow Style Transfer program in Collab. You're going to go to this link and you need to copy this to Google Drive and connect to a VM. Now, the basic idea of this is running these cells to uh, run the code. So first of all, we see uh, what GPU we have in this VM. In this case, I have a Tesla T4. That's a really good GPU. And you need, you always need to see here how much VRAM you have. Since depending on this, you, you can make larger images or smaller images. You might run or space if you put bigger images and you have less, uh, less VRAM. I recommend that you go for a T4 or a P100 uh, for larger images. We're going to see later how to choose between the qualities of the images. Now you mount your Google Drive so you can save uh, your images. All right, so we are mounted to G Drive. Now we run the imports and now the main part, this is sort of the dashboard of the application. Let's see what we have here. So first we have the image, Unsplash image ID. If we choose to go for Unsplash images, otherwise we could we could unmark this and choose an, an URL directly for this. So you need to upload your images to Imetro or some other system because I did it this way because it's more easy to do. So yeah. Otherwise, you could always put the link of an Unsplash image here. So you basically go to an Unsplash image and you, you could be this ID here. So all the things after the question sign. So yeah, now you do the same for the style image and then you set the path to save the images from your Google Drive. Remember to put exactly here the path to the folder that you want. Now we basically run all the cells and here we choose the quality. So 720, 1080 or 1440. I'm going to go for 1080 so it doesn't take that long. So here we have our content image or the image that we want to style and our style image that we choose from Unsplash. I'm going to leave this collection that I really like in the comments so you could have this. All right, so now we basically run all the cells. Some might take longer than the others. Now this one is for generating the cell transfer image. So it's going to render for 2500 steps, but uh, we could stop it early if we, if we like the output. I recommend at least 1500 to look good. If you check this, the code is going to save every frame, so you're going to have 2500 steps. This is useful if you if you want to make sort of a sort of an animation using this. So we hit generate. Finally, we save the image to the Google Drive to the path that we said earlier. You can run multiple cells at, uh, at the same time, so it's going to run the first one and then the second one. So it, after generating the image, it's going to save it to the Google Drive automatically.
and this is our result. As you can see, the style of the style image is in the content image, so we succeed. I really love how style transfer can make a normal image to a really cool and stylized image. Now we're going to see how to make the 3D effect. So the 3D effect takes a single image and creates a depth representation with it. Then it projects that to a 3D space. And depending on the depth, creates cool effects like a dolly effect, and a crazy one where it moves in a circle. It also has a clear way of painting the edges behind the things so it doesn't look like a cutout. I'm going to explain this more in another video where I read the paper and play with the code. So if you're interested, hit like and subscribe. Now let's showcase the collab notebook and see how you can make one yourself. All right, so we are here in the collab notebook of the 3D effect. It's called 3D photo in, in painting. The credit goes to this paper. So check the check their website for more information. Let's go through what you need to do to create your own. First of all, we check the GPU. I recommend that when you run this, check if you have a good GPU. If you have bad GPU, you might run into problems. Sometimes you can enter at different hours of the day and you can get a better GPU, all right? Then we run the cell and install the necessary things into the virtual machine. Then we clone the repo of the code that the authors created. Then we execute some extra settings that we need to do here. And finally, here's the important part then we need to run this cell and then go choose file and we select the style transfer image that we created then this upload the file to the virtual machine and then we run this cell to execute the actual model finally we hit this cell right here to see all the file that the model created and download that to our machine if you want to run this again and create new files you need to hit this cell to remove the video holder and create a new one but don't do this before doing this one actually I'm going to uh, put this here so this is to start again all right and that's it we have our results here it's going to work differently with each image so don't worry if it didn't output a good result try with the other images and make art if you make one of these i would really love if you tag me on twitter i will give you a heart and a retweet so yeah all right so to do an overview of this we first mix a content image and i start using neural side transfer and then we put that image into the 3d photo in painting effect and created a cool artistic 3d effect hope that all went smoothly for you if you have any problems comment below if you'd like to see more in depth how all this works subscribe also if you want to see me coding this live or doing community learning follow me on twitch and that's it for me i'll see you in the next one bye